pulled my balaclava down or whatever, however you say that word, uh, so I could talk a little bit better. And also so my glasses won't fog up. And it's cold, my face got cold already. It's chilly down here. My body's warm, but my face is gonna be cold. This is called Dewado Road. I believe, I've, I've been on this before. Uh, yes, it's funny how I believe all this was logged when I came through here before. And look at all those little trees coming up. It takes a long time, man. I bet this gets really mosquito-y with all the shade and some of the areas where there's going to be standing water. That's really kind of pretty there. Interesting. Mason County. Northeast Bear Creek Delato Road. I believe I want to continue south. We'll see. I'll have to check my maps better next time. I, I had in mind where I wanted to go. But sometimes I just, uh, come on, wander, you know? It's fun to just wander around and check all these old, these, uh, check all these roads. Yeah, it's fun. You don't really need a destination when you're on a motorcycle just to have a, have a good time. In fact, some sometimes that's the best ride is you just get out. Well, for me, really, it is the best ride. You just get out. It's not about where you're going. It's just about finding finding places on the bike, kind of exploring around. And you know, I, something about doing the BDR. You know, when you're on a timetable like that, you know, you're 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 on vacation. You know, you're taking time off work, and you've got this route to go through. Um, that's well and good. You know, it gets you out there, but you don't you don't always have the time to explore off of that route and that's sometimes where the better riding is and the, the in, more interesting things to see get off that beaten path you know even though it's a you know it's back country it's not necessarily a beaten path but once it's a, a published route it kind of is the beaten path you know and uh, it's meant to be a, a through fare really uh, and it's the the little dead end roads that offshoot and the you know the ones that you know maybe they don't dead end but they they don't go towards your your next section uh, those areas are to me the most fun to to ride and explore so one of the things I want to do on the Washington BDR is just go like down to section one and get on all those offshoots you know it, it take me a half a day to get down there and then you know probably camp or whatever but I, I could spend probably a month just exploring around section one a month of weekends or more really if I if I consider how much I've explored around my stomping grounds over by Quilcene, that's my usual area to ride. Uh, there's so many spots down there where I've I've been and I've been back to and back to and back to, and there's still spots that I haven't seen yet, still roads I haven't gone down yet, uh, just off of the two roads I usually ride.
and oftentimes it's fun to go back at different times of the year because they look so different. This is cool on the left. I wonder what that is. No public entry. So you know, just coming down here, I bet if I came down here again in the summertime or spring or even, I know it looks different in winter because there's not as many leaves, but there's so much, you know, evergreens, it doesn't change the view very much, but uh, just the different colorations at the different seasons and the things you can't see. Uh, you know, like the the smells and the and the the sounds that maybe if I were to stop and listen, that's all different depending on what time of year it is, and that makes some areas, many areas, worth coming back to. You know, you you don't have to go somewhere new all the time to go explore. You can you can ride down the same same road multiple times a year, and it, it can be different every time. Especially when you're off pavement because you, you know the, you could have more mud or water or sticks and logs and leaves and different wildlife might be out and about or more common to be out and about at different times of year so that's why I don't get bored riding the same areas and sometimes there's just views you want to go back and see again. It might could be the next day. It's just, just some views that are worth it. Some roads are just worth it. They're just fun. Oh man, this road would be so much fun. If you were to go fast, I, I just don't like to do that. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in the road too it make it slick that's pretty my goodness not a runoff but also you know you try to be respectful you don't know who might be walking and if I was out here I'd be walking all over the place Here, uh, there should be another good view of some water and the mountains, if I recall correctly. And then this kind of curves around, and I've never gone all the way around, and I might try to go a little bit further at least than I did before. I don't know much about what's down here but here we go some views my goodness very wet down here look at that last time I was here there was a boat right here uh, old boat parked right there and it made for a really cool picture with the mountains behind it. Some big old fishing boat or something. It was rainy. Beautiful, my goodness, look how still that water is. Tahuya, Dawado, Belfair, dead end. Let's see what's over here. I don't know what this is.
like uh, that little bird was. fire. Interesting. Do they live on that? Oh, that's going to be slick coming, coming around. What is this? Dilato. That means I can't go that way. I'll have to look. So maybe it's just the maybe it's just the water. I gotta. I I don't want to. Tide flats are private property. Interesting. But look at that. My gosh. I'll probably turn around here, gentlemen. But that is beautiful. though because why would we not <laughs> <laughs> 